the Chinese restaurant in the basement sold spam fried rice. They had to shut down because of hygiene rules, but they still sold it. It was a thing. They say you are what you eat, so I'm spam fried rice. Mukbang episode, spam fried rice. Yeah, spam fried rice. Great dish, really unhealthy. We have spam over here. If you don't know what spam is, your childhood was probably really good because your parents cared about nutrition. Or it was really bad because your parents didn't let you eat what you wanted. All a point of perspective. I haven't eaten spam in like years, to be honest. Let's slice up some spam. Just into rough cubes. They will shrink a lot when they cook in the frying pan. So they can, we can afford to cut them a little larger. And look at this technique, man. Look at this technique, how I cut the spam. Not everyone can do this. And now these spam into rough cubes. Okay, our spam is sliced. We can put the spam into the pan without any oil or any grease or any fat because basically this is just meat butter. Meat butter, spam. Okay. Now we can cook this for a bit until it turns a little crispy. All right. Our spam is cooking up nicely. Check it out. Spam flip. Okay. Okay, let's move all the spam to the side and put in an egg. Yeah, buddy. Scramble the egg around. Scramble the egg right round, baby, right round. Okay, now the egg is cooked a little bit. We can mix it with all the spam. And there's so much grease in here. You don't have to put any oil or anything in here. This is just some rice from the rice cooker. The rice will absorb all the grease from the spam. It truly is a beautiful thing. I know there's so much salt from the spam in here, but I just want to give it a little flavor with some soy sauce. And a little fish sauce. Take a snapshot real quick. Hashtag healthy, hashtag lifestyle, hashtag vegan, hashtag fried rice, hashtag I became so fat I opened an email account just to eat the spam. Our spam fried rice is done. You can see the rice has turned crispy a little bit. I just want to hit some pepper on it as well. It tastes like spam fried rice. My mom never let me eat Spam because she thought it was like poison. Spam's not poison. It's close to being poison, but it's not poison. Everywhere where you use butter, you could actually use Spam. It would just make it taste so much porkier and more delicious. They probably have the same health benefits, like zero. It's drink matching time! I have something called Freeze. Freeze is from Lebanon and my friend Ibrahim gave it to me. Check out his store, Beirut Mark. Do you know Iron Brew? It tastes a little bit like Iron Brew. No alcohol. I don't like to match my food with alcohol. I think the alcohol dominates the food too much. So I'll just match it with beer instead because according to Charlie Sheen, beer is not alcohol. Duh. Winning. I think if you told anyone you're eating spam fried rice, they go like, what the hell, why don't you eat something normal? Yo, this is something normal. When I was living in Kuala Lumpur, the Chinese restaurant in the basement sold spam fried rice. They had to shut down because of hygiene rules, but they still sold it. It was a thing. It's funny how in the dirtiest restaurants, you'll find the most extraordinary food. I went to Casablanca once, and on the street, there was this young guy, he was maybe 17 years old. He had the dirtiest fingernails. He was touching money and he was cleaning, cleaning the table with his hands and stuff like that. 
and he was touching raw minced lamb to make, you know, kofta, which are like meat sticks. Let me tell you something, that was the best meat stick I've ever eaten in my life. He was touching them, he was touching money and he was touching raw meat that was not really refrigerated. It was great though. I saw all of it and I still ate it. Hi, my name is Ben and welcome to Jackass. If you think about this, this was a half a pack of Spam. If you fry it down, it becomes a lot smaller, but it's still half a pack of ham, of Spam. I love eating stuff out of the frying pan. It keeps it nice and warm. You can just stuff it, no washing off the plates. I apologize to all offended mothers. I see a lot of people, they put like carrots and onions and stuff like that inside. I don't really like to put veggies into my fried rice. I think it's intrusive. I think it's annoying. They should leave me alone. If only I had someone to share this with. But I don't have anyone. That's the problem if you travel a lot and you move around. You don't really have friends in one place. Well, you have a lot of friends everywhere on the world. But you can't see them all the time. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Gay! There's a restaurant in Montreal called Joe Beef. They serve spam, truffled egg, and gold leaf. They also serve a dish called the foie gras double down. down. Two slabs of foie gras. In between there's bacon and cheese and the foie gras is deep fried. I recreated that dish. Click on the link over here to watch it. The last bite of Spam Fried Rice, I'm commemorating to Barney Stinson. The most probably greatest dude ever. He's awesome, he's legendary. He's gonna be legend, wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second part of this word is dairy. I overate again. I'm not too bothered. I have to stop soon because this is really gonna affect my health. Whatever! Thanks for watching this episode of Mukbang with Ben, Spam Fried Rice. A simple quick dish, you know. Make it at home, I really encourage you. If you want to see my Indomie challenge, click over here. If you subscribe, it encourages me to eat more unhealthy food and a lot of it. So thanks again and have a great day guys.